career winning possession for FC Edmonton. Great ball over the top. Here's Keegan into the penalty area. Alves has got back, but Keegan's still going and has slotted it in left footed. Keegan making the run. Heads this one in and heads this one over John Bush. Keegan, Restrepo's come a long way, and Keegan slips it underneath. Fordyce looking for Niasi, it's a good direct pass, and Niasi's kept it in play, and has support from Edward. Edward's crossed to the far post, up towards Keegan, he gets up there, and Keegan! ...by Keegan ahead of him, and he's got an overlap from Amiobi here, Amiobi with a chance, into the box, Amiobi cuts it in there, must be a goal, and is for Keeper. But very good save again, parried away by Matt Van Okel. And that was key because he had someone, there's another player coming in for Lauderdale in the middle. If Van Okel doesn't parry that away, he can put that rebound. Fordyce at the other end has put FC Edmonton. Trying to turn and make space for himself, away by Fordyce, and Keegan is chasing that one down. Oh, Keegan's got around the back here. Keegan in to the penalty area, slides it for Korea. Players give away here by Ring. Finish that story in a matter of moments. The dangerous Keegan has the ball at his feet. Steers this one in. Fordyce couldn't get to Ryan. He'll help out this defense so much. When he's in possession, he's very calm. He doesn't give the ball away too easily at all. And it's that sort of stability on the ball that they'll need. Amiobi allows it to run the cross. Cruz plays this one to Keegan. No turn, no turn. Keegan with the leave. Jam Miller gets in the way, but yeah. on the Korea. And he's slid it through to Keegan. Here's the chance. Went for the. He's refining Keegan. Keegan turning, going towards goal here. Jake Keegan, he's going to trip Peels for a handball in there, but the referee saw nothing wrong with it. Nice one, two between Shelm and Keegan. Keegan in a chase for it. Keegan on the end of it here. And in the end, he just couldn't get it under control and has now drilled a lovely pass along the deck to Eckersley, left wing overlap, cross coming in towards Keegan. Possession for the Eddies who still can make a very good possession out of it. Let's see how to make Correa, Correa, living in the middle with a cross. Paint. could see Colin back for the Miami match in Miami next Saturday. Murray continuing to improve and retooled Miami Ron for, for multi years. Keegan the ball forward, center cross, Bush got um, wide here a second ago. If he takes an oh my goodness, what a brilliant dummy. The ball set across, but coming from just cushions that ball out of the sky into his teammate's path. Excellent from Keegan to take it away from Richie Ryan. He's got an option and Plumhoff played wide. Keegan the ND 11 this year. Yeah, the Tell you, charging Dylan Mayers. Well-timed tackle from behind there. No appeal uh, from any of the striker players. He took it cleanly. Here's Keegan. Nice pass through the middle. Back again by Daryl Fordyce. And here's Keegan. He's going to try and go to the byline. Great cross into the middle. It's worked out well for Edmonton. They played in Keegan. Keegan infield to Amiobi. Or Pickens is really happening nothing this entire game. And when he does have to do something, unfortunately, it's on a penalty kick. Connect about 25 yards out, and Diakite will get it out wide. King has it pushed by him by Keegan, but he's able to recover and slow it down. Eckersley sent into the box, swept away by the Cosmos.
this. Four minutes later, Ryan Connolly's free kick, Derry's rear guard completely switched off, and Jake Keegan ghosts in. <laughs> Keegan was the star man for Galway on Saturday as he bagged his first hat-trick for the club. Keegan at the start and end of the opener. He fed it wide for Gary Shannon and his pinpoint delivery was swept home by Keegan. 